Next question is from More Life Jojo. In a recent episode, you talked about the importance of introducing new exercises to elicit a new stimulus and to work muscles in a novel way. In previous episodes, you have mentioned that there is no need to confuse muscles and that progressive overload is the principle that will stimulate muscle growth. Can you elaborate, elaborate and clarify the difference between introducing new exercises for the sake of stimulating versus confusing? Mm. This, this question is Sal's fault because he says everything with so much conviction. <laughs> no, no, no. It seems like the only thing we're, we're confusing is the listeners. That's, that's a, that's you say it with so much You're conviction. not listening. Yeah, you say it with so much conviction that they're like, wait a second, is that the truth no, or is that yeah. the truth? No, it's, it's both. But first off, okay, right. the, the term confusing muscles is a marketing term. Mm. Uh, muscles <laughs> don't get confused. Uh, I don't think they think that way. They're like, huh? Yeah, now what's yeah. going on? Okay, so there's a novel stimulus with changing exercises. But one thing you have to understand is there's this, this, there's value that you get from exercises from learning to do the exercises well, and then the, the results and the benefits you get from them actually increase as you're able to do them really, really well. So we'll use a complex exercise like a squat. When you start to learn how to do a squat, you do get some benefit. You learn how to squat better. You're getting your muscles to fire in better unison and better connection so that you can do the position better. Once you're comfortable with the actual movement of the squat, then you can add weight, then you can really build muscle, then you can really push yourself and get those great results. So there is a there is a dance between or a balance between new exercises and then getting to the point where you get good at them so you could push the intensity and challenge the, the weight that you lift with those exercises. Those are both very important. If you just stick in one or the other, you're missing out. If all you ever do is switch up exercises all the time, you're going to miss out on all those amazing benefits you get from getting good at an exercise right. and really pushing yourself. If you only ever do the same exercises and you never add any novelty, risk of injury goes up, you can plateau, uh, and you can really get your body to to stop progressing because you're not introducing new movements. I think I remember when we we actually recently talked about this, and I think what, what this person's alluding to is when we were referring to like squats, deadlift, overhead press, and like that there's not much need to to move those out of your routine. Right. That And the, the reason for that is because those movements are so novel and so complex in themselves that you could spend the next four years squatting yeah. every other day. Good luck perfecting them. Exactly. Squatting every other day for the next four years and still not have a perfect squat. Mm. Uh, that is why that that make you know this uh, this question comes from I think that statement that we made in regards to that, uh, and so you know if you are just you just squatted for two weeks and you're like oh you know I you know I heard muscle confusion or we should do some other novel exercise and you eliminate squats and then you go put leg press or leg extension in there instead that's missing not a, yeah you're yeah. missing out. I like to look at those staple exercises you just mentioned as sort of the benchmark. Like this is where I assess how my body is uh, reacting. And so like these little, uh, you know, micro compensations and things that are happening in my body is what's providing me feedback to then create opportunities for new novel stimulus to seek. So if, if, if my body tends to rotate just a little bit, you know, that's something I need to work on, you know, core control and, and stabilizing more properly and getting, making sure I'm anti-rotating. And so what are those exercises that I can incorporate in the program to now addressed to then apply back to these, you know, foundational staple exercises that sort of are my legend. They're, they're, it's, this is how I read my map. Yeah. I, I, short term, you want to stick to the same exercises. Long term is when you start to introduce uh, novelty with different exercises. So uh, here's a good example. If you were to take, if you were to compare two types of workouts, both three months long, one focusing on the same 10 exercises, the other one always mixing it up with a uh, hundred different uh, varieties of different exercises. Okay. The one that stuck to just the 10, you'll get better results. Now, if we stretch this out over the course of a year or two years, and then we compare a workout that only uses 10 exercises to another one that uses, let's say 30 exercises and throws in and changes things every few months or every, you know, four months or so, then the one that's adding the novelty will start to, you know, get better results. It, it's a, it's, it is a balance. But the important things to focus on are get good at the complex movements, do those ones often, 
all the other movements, I think you have a little bit more freedom to 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 change up. If you have if you have uh, some or most of our programs, uh, this is how they're written. Perfect. And you'll see that there is a you know we introduce lots of different uh, exercises and novel stimulus and different planes and like Justin's talking about rotational stuff that all gets introduced. But you'll also see. Through all of them, there is a common theme that we never we never abandon squats. We never mm -hmm. abandon overhead presses. We never abandon some of these fundamental movements that kind of belong in, in every single program. But there's still lots of room in a workout to still add novel stimulus and different exercises for the you know quote unquote muscle confusion idea for you to do that, but still not stray away from the things that are giving you the greatest bang for your buck. Yeah, if you were to follow like our RGB bundle, for example, which is, has three MAPS programs and you go from one to the other to the other, that's about nine months of uh, of workout programming. And it's got the, it introduces new exercises at the right time and it changes the focus just enough at the right time. So your body progresses through that whole long period of nine months.